Well, good morning, everybody. So I'd like to uh, tell you about a, a little story. We were cleaning out the Harris house and uh, came across this portrait of Miss Clara D. Kelly. And for those of us who knew her, it was just simply Miss Clara. And uh, we thought it might be appropriate to, to keep this portrait because uh, Miss Clara was such a great, great Christian lady and such a wonderful member of the Methodist Church. Um, she was a loyal member of the Pat Seagrass Sunday School class. And when Miss Clara passed away in 1988, she left and her will was read that it was just determined that she had left the church a $100,000 gift. And this was a very substantial amount in 1988, and uh, it kind of took everybody for, by surprise. I kind of think of it as maybe a modern day widow's might. Our head pastor at the time was a guy named Mickey Morgan, who did an awful lot, of, a lot for the church. He was pastor here for 13 years. And when he heard about the gift, he said, I've just heard from a saint who has already entered the Father's house. And the gift took the church by surprise because Miss Clara didn't really say how it should be spent. So it took nearly three years to determine what to do with the money. They finally decided to do a whole list of repairs to the church, including the renovation of the Pat Seeger Sunday School class. So I'm sure Miss Clara would approve. But, you know, just taking care of our church is just one of the ways that we use the monies that you give. There are lots of other ways, and now I'd like to turn it over to Jane to tell you about some of those ways. Our church has a rich history with deep roots, and many saints have gone before us to give us this history. And, and now Cornerstone has a new history of its own. This year, your stewardship committee focused on growing our faith through generosity. When you came in today, I hope you got this. I'm not sure if everybody got it, but um, when you came in today, you were given a list of ways that you could be a good steward to this church. And I hope you will look over. There's so many on this list. It's incredible. Uh, so many ways to give back. And I hope you will discover some ways that you can give here too. We now own our property. We own our beautiful Gothic Revival Sanctuary. The first meeting that was held in this church, in this building, was 1906. 115 years later, Cornerstone held its first meeting in that sanctuary. It has a special place. The next one is we own our arbor. In January of 2000, the arbor opened its doors and they've been wide open ever since for 23 years. It's been such a blessing to our city and our church. And the next one is the Bobby Gorey's Boy Scout Hut. It was built in honor of a great Boy Scout who died too soon. And we have, in our family, two eagles that uh, went through Pat 169. Scotty was an eagle, and our son John was an eagle, too. And I'm sure many of you... Uh, have been fortunate enough to go through the scout program here. It's been so meaningful. And the next one is Jacob's Ladder. We, we own Jacob's Ladder now, and the building right next door to the arbor, we bought that, and it's because our Jacob's Ladder uh, program was expanding so much, we needed it for an afternoon program and other things. And Jacob's Ladder has just been such a blessing to this city and to this church. And now we have a new director, Ellen Martin, and she's just doing some incredible things. She's just making it even better and better. And the next one is now we own our youth building. We were a bit devastated when we lost the shed, but now this is becoming a reality, and we are so fortunate and so excited to have this new building, and can't wait for our kids to get in it, for our youth to get in it. And the next, we have a wonderful, caring staff, starting with our wonderful pastor. Billy's just, I mean, Billy hits it out of the park every Sunday morning at church, and we're just so thankful for everybody that that uh, on our staff and we're so lucky next one 
You know, every Sunday, if you're going in Green Street or you're coming to the Arbor, you're greeted by a volunteer. Somebody is giving up their time to stand at the door and welcome you in the Green Street. They're giving out bulletins. They're making sure you have a good place to sit. Uh, there, there are just so many volunteers. And the next one, AJ and Wes are always at that door, and we've just got so many people that volunteer. And the next one, there's Wes. And the next one, we just, and those beautiful flowers too. James doing the, the, the sound, there's the video, there's, oh, wow, we just have so many to be thankful for. And in Green Street as well. We've got volunteers there doing, doing the sound. And we can't say enough about our small groups. If you're not in a small group, you're missing something because the small groups are just, just so special to this, to this church. Our small group, we're in a small group across the, across the street, and we just voted this week that uh, for Feast of Sharing, we're, we, our small group is going to supply uh, the money for the Christmas program for our um, Feast of Sharing. And the small groups do so much too. They, uh, every Sunday at Green Street and the Arbor, they supply all the snacks. And I think a lot of people uh, don't even eat breakfast. They just come here because the snacks are so good. And, uh, and the tables are all, always beautifully set too. Next one is our music program. Uh, between the praise band here, and they spend so much time, so much time making sure that we are entertained and, and have beautiful music, and it's just fabulous. And our, I, our Green Street Choir has never been better. They, they are, uh, we have a great pianist and the organist and our great leader in David. Uh, the music is just absolutely fabulous. And the next one, and what can we say about our youth? Our little youth, are, our youth and our children are always volunteering to help and, and be a part of the program on Sunday and all during the week. Our stewardship committee is committed to making this the best campaign ever, but we need your support. We need your time, we need your talents, and we need your financial support as well. And we need unity. I think unity of the spirit is what bond, bonds us together, that binds us together. Please consider making a pledge this year to Cornerstone. Thank you. <laughs> 